beauty bays, welcome back to my channel. Today I've got a little new product that's just come out literally this week. And um, for those of you that follow iHeartRevolution, you would have probably seen there's been some new products coming out this week. Um, and the one that I have got is the chocolate cherry ch chocolate cherry chocolate bar. Chocolate bar, chocolate bar. Um, so this is new out this week. Um quite nice packaging it's very much along the sweet tooth like the cotton candy etc they've now got on the new products they've got the layout a photograph of the layout actually on the box um which is handy because it's actually a photograph rather than any like um, an artist's impression and i think that is much better um and it's got 18 shadows in it so i'm just going to pop her open so that we can have a look so now I'm going to be completely honest, I think this colouring looks really tacky, I don't think the red and the, I just don't like the red and the pink together um, because I just feel like they really clash, um, but that's my personal opinion, that's just the packaging, I just don't like it, I just don't like it, but as I say that's my just personal opinion. So I'll open her up and have a look at her inside. So this is what she looks like on the inside. Now, she looks very, very familiar to another palette. Um, and the palette that I think she looks familiar to, I have actually brought down for you guys to have a look. Um, and it's actually the Strawberry Cheesecake. Um, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to send you over now to the close-up so that you can have a real close-up look at what these colours are, if they're mattes and shimmers and what they look like. Um, and then be right back and then we will do a comparison. Okay, so you've seen what it looks like up close and personal. Um, it smells a bit like chocolate, not a lot. Um, but there you go. So I have got the two palettes side by side, well, on top of each other. And you will see what I mean by the similarities. I think the colour story, um, all right, you've got a, you've got a red colour down here that isn't in there, but there are several colours in there. It just looks like um, yeah, to me it looks like there are colours that are duplicated. I'll just try to see if I can pick out any... Do you know what? It's really bizarre because now I'm trying to pick them out, I can't. Um, because although the colours are similar, they're, they're not. So I think when you first look at this, your instant, think, your instant thinking is it's, it's the strawberry cheesecake. Um, because you've got like these browns in, I mean these browns are, are basically the same. Um, you haven't got this as a, um, a transition colour, you haven't got this. There's more mattes in this and even the shimmers are not the same. So although they look similar, they are not. They are not. So, okay, put her away because we don't need her. So we're concentrating on this little beauty. I'm going to do an eye look for you. Um, but for those of you who don't want the eye look, you just, you've just come for the swatches, I'll do the swatches now so that you can have a look. And then you can obviously go on your merry way. And if you want to see me do an eye look, then obviously stay tuned. <laughs>
Okay, so I'm now going to do the eye look. I've even got on my pink lipstick, ready to do a pink look because I just feel that's what's going to happen. So, yep, now I'm going to do the eye look. Okay, so I'm just going to put a base on my eye prime. I'm using the Freedom um, Camouflage in F03. Unfortunately, it's not a product that's current. You can still get hold of it on the Revolution website. And then we're going to set that with the colour Spring, which is a lovely matte colour. It's a, a really good base colour just to, to set that concealer really and then we're going to go in with this beautiful color called pear and it's just a lovely very very me actually it's grayish very grayish now because i haven't set my eyes properly i had found this difficult to blend so i had to work with it but i tell you what once it actually started blending it was beautiful really enjoyed using this it was just such a lovely color to work with yeah we all pout our lips at the mirror when we're doing our eyes don't we um yeah so it's just blend 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 make sure we get rid of all those harsh lines and then we're going to go into a color that's called all gone which is a little bit more more of a purpley undertone. Now this is one of my favorite colors as a lipstick, although my husband says that I look like a corpse when I'm wearing it. Um, it is one of my favorite color lipsticks. It's um, very, very similar to the Lavender and Lace in the NYX um, lipstick. It's just a lovely color, just to, to keep blending that through with the, the transition, just to start building that color up. So we're going to go in for a second coat. <laughs> Sounds like we're painting. Yeah, this is just like a, a second amount gone in just to, to build that up. And it isn't because there's no problem with the pigment. There's no problem with the pigment at all. Then we're going to go in with this colour called Sow, which is it's a bit of a, um, a peachy, peachy colour. I'm just going to run that through my crease as well, just to have a pop of colour. Now, I will just say now that if you looked at the swatches and you thought they looked very washed out I'm gonna say they looked very washed out and um, then we're gonna go in with maraschino which maraschino is a cherry as we all know which is a, a sort of a red color but it's not a true red so I'm just popping that all over the lid just to give me a little bit of brightness yeah, I mean, even, I mean, look, you can see how beautiful these do look on the lid. They're very, very pigmented, but in the swatches, they didn't look great. So we're going back in with Pear just to diffuse that line, just to diffuse any harsh lines. So yes, the, the swatches weren't great. They're probably just absolutely awful if I got rid of it. Um, so, okay, we're going to go into the outer corner now, and this is using the colour Ripe. I'm just gently patting some into that outer corner just to give me a little bit of definition. Just a tiny amount, don't want a huge amount, so I'm just patting that in and then just spreading some of that across just to blend it. It's a really rich colour actually, that Ripe. A beautiful rich colour. So just blending that through now. And oh, smile at yourself. So then we're going to use Blossom. Reminds me of my friend Carla. Just using that on the inner corner just to highlight. And then we're going to go in with Kirsch. Kirsch. This is a pretty shimmer. And it doesn't need a lot of building up either. It's so pretty it's got this beautiful rose gold effect and i wanted to have that over the top of that maraschino because i just thought it would look rather nice and i really like it i really like it i'm really pleased with how it's turning out so far so then i'm gonna go in with maraschino again and this time i'm gonna go under the eye just to line 
um, just to give me that pop of colour back, just to marry it all up. Now you can see it works really, really nicely together because you've got it on the lid and although it's under a shimmer, it's still there, still shining through. So then we're going to go in with Spring again. Um, this again up on the, the brow line and this is to diffuse the harsh line that I have and to blend that into my skin so it looks absolutely seamless and it always works always works if you have a skin toned color if you need to hide something up just go into a skin toned color and that will help no end I'm now just running Blossom under my eye now on top of that maraschino again to diffuse the brightness. Then we're going back in with All Gone. And what I'm doing is a little trick here just to make my lid space look bigger because I've got the hooded eyes. If you run the colour above where your lid is so that when you look in the mirror you can see there a bigger space so that you can actually see some lid. Then we're going to go back in again with this crush, <laughs> um, just to give that a little bit more of a pop of shimmer. Okay, so this is the finished look that I have done. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? <laughs> Um, I've done a little trick to make it look like I have bigger lid space because obviously of my hooded eyes where you extend your lid across. Um, but yeah, I I like her. I like her. I like her a lot. That is really, really pretty. Very pink. I like that a lot. I love that, um, that Kirschk colour, this one here, which I've got on my eyes. It's a really, really nice colour. Yeah quite impressed. The mattes were really good. They blended out really nicely. Um, easily to blend out. The um, shimmers were easy to go on as well. So yeah, I, I think so far I, I have liked what I have done. I really enjoyed it. Really enjoyed doing that eye look for you. So I'll give you the down and dirty details. So we all the products that come from Revolution are cruelty free. They are a cruelty free brand. Um, this one is not vegan, it is PETA, um, it's recycled and it's also in recyclable packaging as well. And it's got a 12 month shelf life, I'm not going to say any more, I'm not going to say any more because we all know that we can make it last a bit longer than 12 months. Um, net weight of 18 pounds of 0 0.03 ounces in the US this equates to 1 gram. So 18 grams of product. Um, it doesn't, it says shadow palette. It doesn't say pigment palette. It says shadow palette. Um, yeah, and then you've got numbers on the back here as well. They do tend to do that a lot now. Eyeshadow, it's got here eyeshadow. So there's no pigment as such, this pigment, but there isn't any pressed pigment. So yeah, I do like this, I think. I think this is nice. I just the only thing I don't like is this packaging here. I just I don't like the red. I don't like the red and pink together. I think they'd have been better off perhaps doing it as a dark chocolate. Because when I associate cherries with chocolate, I associate dark chocolate, not milk chocolate. So if they could have done that in a darker chocolate with that on top, then perhaps it would have looked a bit better. But I think it does look a bit tacky. Sorry, that is my opinion. I don't want to offend anybody else. Um, but yeah there you go so there you go that is my video on the newly released chocolate cherry i heart revolution bar and um i hope you enjoyed so if you want to leave a comment down below obviously please 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 comment down below tell me what you think of the palette tell me if you've ordered it or if you've got if you're gonna order it um tell me what your favorite color is in that tell me tell me what you'd like to see done with it um because I love listening to all of your comments. 
I, I do read every single comment and I do try and like and love every comment that is made and when I get a chance I do reply as well. Um, I read every single one so I appreciate every single com comment that you, you make, I will interact with you. So tell me what you think, just tell me what you think. Um, yeah, um, I really like it. I really like it. Sorry, my hair is a complete not a mess today. Um, yeah, I've got to get it cut next week because it's grown that little bit longer now that I don't quite know. I can't tie it back, but I can't. It's yeah. Um. Anyway, enough about that. Enough about my hair. Everyone keeps commenting on my hair at the moment. The nice thing is, everyone keeps saying, "You look so much younger with your hair cut," and I'm like, "Yep." Yeah. Keep bringing them comments because I like to hear that. Um, yeah, so I now look 55 instead of 65. Um, so yeah, give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Uh, subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And also tweet that bell because, you know, you will be notified of any time that I load up the video. And if you do enjoy my content and you do want to see other videos that I do, I will put up some links now of videos that I have got available. But please, you know, make yourself known. Say hi. So anyway, I will see you in the next video. So have a beautiful day, beauty babes. And mwah, I will see you later. Bye bye. I'm going to eat chocolate cherry now. This is time for Easter. See ya.